Good day everyone, I am Ryan J. Sambrano from Group 3 and today we are going to discuss the Module 5, which is the Democratic Intervention. First of all, what is democracy? According to Oxford, democracy is a system of government by the whole population or all the eligible members of a state, typically through elected representatives, and according to Google, democracy is a system of government which power is vested to the people and exercised by them through elections. Now, let us understand the democracy. People casting votes for the candidates, a mass action denouncing corrupt officials in government, students rallying against success successive tuition fee increases, consumers complaining through the media the exorbitant prices of basic commodities, and demonstrations in support of a country's claim to territorial rights in contentious waters, the mass actions in public clamor are eventually needed by the politicians whom people elected to formulate and execute laws, maintain peace and order, pursue development, and forge ties with other nations. These are the characteristics of a society where democracy rules. So, ayan ang characteristics ng isang demokrasya dahil tayo bilang mamamayan na kung saan demokrasya ang pinapairal ay may kakayahan tayo na pumili ng karapat dapat na politiko na mamumuno sa atin. May karapatang pumuna sa mga maling gawain ng gobyerno at may kalayaang maglahad ng ating saloobin o hinaing sa gobyerno kasi nga ang taong bayan ang may kapangyarihan sa ilalim ng demokrasya. So, democracy. Democracy means the power of the people. It originates from the Greek words demos, which means people, and kratos, which means strength of power. So, triva lang. Athens or the Athenians ang unang civilization na nag-impose ng demokrasya sa kanilang pamamahala. And next, one, next bullet. In a democracy, hereditary class distinctions and arbitrary class privileges are non-existent. So, hereditary class, iyon yung hered it is a social class separated from others by distinctions of hered hereditary rank or profession or profession or wealth. So, gaya lamang sa India, di ba meron silang caste system. So, it is, comp it is a form of hereditary class. And your arbitrary class privilege, hey, hindi rin binibigyang importansya. Third bullet. A democratic government is, wa is one where the people hold the supreme power where power is vested on the, on the people and where the people possesses the sovereign will. So, ayun nga, gaya ng sinabi ko, tayo ang may kapangyarihan sa ilalim ng demokrasya. So, next bullet, or the fourth bullet, rather. Former U.S. President Abraham Lincoln succinctly defined democratic government in its Gettysburg Address delivered in 1863 as a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. So, what does it mean? So, this is the popular speech of President Lincoln during Gettysburg Address where he dedicated the speech to those soldiers who died during American Civil War for democracy, na kung saan sinabi niya na that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Nang ibig sabihin ang gobyerno at ang demokrasya ay para sa taong bayan lamang at hindi para sa mga nakaluklok sa pwesto. So, next bullet tayo, or the fifth bullet is, ito yung democracy is rooted from the Athenian democracy of the ancient Greeks and Romans. Athenian democracy's three main branches were the Council of 500, the Assembly of the Demos, and the People's Court. So, i ano muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng <coughs> the Council of 500. The Council of 500 is also known as the Bowl, the Bowl, where it is consists of 500 men and 50 of which is came from 10 Athenian tribes who served on the council for one year. And the Assembly of the Demos is also known as the Ecclesia, which is held 40 times per year and is also served as the sovereign governing body of the Athens. The last one is the People's Court or the, or the Dicastre, Dicasteria, which is the third important branch in Athenian democracy. Sixth bullet, the idea of democracy was also drawn from England's Magna Carta of 1215. So what is Magna Carta of 1215? 
Magna Carta of 1215 is also known as the or the Magna Carta Libertatum or Medieval Latin for Medieval Latin term for Greater Great Charter of Freedoms, commonly called Magna Carta, also Magna Charta or Great Charter. It is a royal charter of rights agreed to by King John of England at Runimed near Windsor on June 15, 1215. It is an agreement of peace between the king and the re and the rebel barons. Democracy did not evolve into its present form until its until the age of enlightenment. Enlightenment with the adoption of the U.S. Declaration of Independence in 1776, and not long after, the creation of the U.S. Constitution in 1787, with the heavy borrowings from the English Magna Carta. So next, dumako naman tayo sa types of democracy. In, in democracy, we have the five types. It is the parliamentary democracy, Jeffersonian democracy, Jacksonian democracy, liberal or constitutional democracy, and the social democracy. So first, let us identify the parliamentary democracy. Parliamentary democracy is the democratic form of government that began in Great Britain. It features a leading party or coalition of parties whose leader becomes the prime minister or chancellor na hanggang ngayon ay ginagamit pa rin ng Great Britain as form of their democracy. And ang parliamentary democracy ay pinamumunuan naman ng prime minister. Next is the Jeffersonian democracy. Formulated by Thomas Jefferson, it is presupposed that all male citizens were entitled to equal political opportunities. It underscored the need for leadership by those with great, greatest abilities to be chosen by the people. Next is the Jacksonian democracy. Symbolized by Andrew Jackson, it focused on the needs of the ordinary people rather than on the needs of the elite and the educated. So, dito sa Jacksonian democracy, nakatoon lang siya sa pangangailangan ng mga ordinaryong tao, gaya ng, gaya natin, ordinaryong tao na tayo. Doon sila nakatoon ng pansin, hindi doon sa mga ruler, elite, and the, and the scholars. Kasi nga, sa pamamahala ng Jacksonian democracy, mas importante ang taong bayan kaysa sa mga elite na gaya ng mga mayaman. Next is the liberal or constitutional democracy. Founded on the principles of free and fair elections, a universal right to vote, and a competitive political process where qualified people can run and be voted for office. It can be in form of a constitutional monarchy and constitutional republic. And under the liberal or constitutional democracy, we have two types of republic, which, I which are the federal republic and unitary republic. First, a federal republic. It is composed of sub-governing states that have consolidated together, thus forming a federation. So, gaya na lamang nito ng United States. United States is a federal republic. So, ibig sabihin, it is composed of states na, na, na nakaano lamang sa ano. So, ayun nga. Composed of states sila. Tapos, mag -e elect lang sila ng isang presidente. Gaya na sa atin. Pero, Ito ay composed ng maraming states, hindi gaya ng Pilipinas na isang state lamang. Next is a unitary republic. It is run as one entity and has strong central or national government. So, ang example niyan is yung Pilipinas. Philippines has a unitary republic. And last one is the social democracy. Conceived in the 19th century, it promotes universal access to health, education, just compensation for workers, and social services. It seeks to reform capitalism through state laws and other regulatory policies. Dimension of Democracy For political economic writers, democracy has one dimension only in terms of political rights in the form of fair and free elections. So, based on my understanding, According to political economic writers, sa katulad nating bansang demokrasya, mayroong pantay-pantay na, pantay na karapatan sa batas, mahirap man o mayaman. And for Roger Betancourt, political rights, civil rights, and political legitimization compose the dimension of democracy. Sino nga ba si Roger Betancourt? Roger R. Betancourt is a professor 
in the Department of Economics at the University of Maryland. He, has, he was a visiting professor of several occasions at INSEAD in Fontainebleau, France from 1984 to 1992. So, what is political rights, civil rights, and political legitimization? Civil and political rights are a class of rights that protect individuals' freedom from infringements by governments, social organizations, and private individuals. Legitimation in the social sciences refers to the pro process whereby an act, process, or ide ideology becomes legitimate by its attachment to norms and values within a given society. So, when people participate in government affairs, such as the election of officials and the creation of laws, they exercise their political. So, yun, ayun, bilang mga mayor, pag nagpa-participate sa elections or creating creation of laws, um, na-exercise nila yung rights nila, yung karapatan nila na bila, bilang mamamayan or Dimension of democracy, civil rights. Civil rights are the individual person right to autonomy and to act freely without discrimination. Alam naman natin ang civil rights, di ba? Ito yung freedom to choice. Freedom pumili ng tao um, na without discrimination. Ito yung right to choice, um, right to act freely. Political and civil rights are limitation to the power of the government vis a vis the sovereign people and every individual. So, ano meaning ng vis a vis? So, meaning ng vis a vis is to relation. So, ang political and civil rights daw, ito yung naglilimita sa kapangirihan ng gobyerno para sa uh, sovereign people and, and every individual. So, ito yung naglilimita kung gano nila um, naglilimita ito sa government. The modern means of political legitimization includes proclamation by Congress, inauguration and oath-taking before a Supreme Court Justice. In the old, olden times in Southeast Asia, political legitimization was demonstrated by possessing and parading the kingly regalia, which includes symbols of power. So, all times now in Southeast Asia, um, Yung politika daw doon, ito yung um, dinademonstrate nila ang gano'n sila kapangirian sa pagparig ng king and queen. Ito yung nagpapakita, nagsisimbol ng kanilang kapangyarihan.